one side accepts election losses and one side doesn't. This asymmetry cannot continue. Wait, wait, and the on. people who are defending it cannot just look past it like, well, we won the election, so that's it. Wrong! 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 I really don't understand Bill Maher. At times, it seems like he's seeing through the BS. But then other times, he just blatantly lies about things that are well-documented history. He is once again erroneously claiming that Democrats always accept election results and never riot, despite the fact that he has been schooled on this by several people, including twice by Megyn Kelly. No, that if Trump had lost this election right now, we would be talking about the votes that are still coming in in Pennsylvania Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, and he'd be in the courts, and we would just be all in a tither. One side accepts election losses, and one side doesn't. Uh, the last three times a Republican has been elected president, Democrats in the House have brought objections to the electoral votes in states the Republican nominee won. In 2005, Senator Barbara Boxer of California lent Senate support to the move when she objected to George W. Bush's electoral votes in Ohio, citing voting irregularities in the state. The move was praised at the time. The point is this. Democrats should probably hold their criticism on this one. It was stupid for Democrats to do that in 2005. It was undermining of the democratic process in 2005 just because Democrats were angry that George W. Bush won Ohio. One side accepts election losses and one side doesn't. There is no question or very little question that Al Gore won the votes cast in the state of Florida. The question is, will he win the votes counted? And there's some stories in Florida still developing. We don't know all the facts, but it really looks odd. And some say, listen, and is the quote is the fix in in Florida? Their voting irregularities are alleged in some counties. Some irregularities in the vote count. Voting irregularities. Voting improprieties. Do you think in, in Florida that voter fraud has been perpetrated? The early editions of the New York Post got it wrong. Printed out Bush wins. Gore could challenge the election court. On the day George W. Bush was inaugurated, tens of thousands of Americans poured into the streets of D.C. in one last attempt to reclaim what had been taken from them. They pelted Bush's limo with eggs and brought the inauguration parade to a halt. Bush's limo hit the gas to prevent an even larger riot. One side accepts election losses and one side doesn't. Every votes were definitely affected. Know, but Russia hacked the election right. to tilt it to Mr. Trump. The Russians definitively hacked the election. Russia did hack the election. No doubt. The Russians hacked the election. Yes. Russia hacked the election. Fact, Russia hacked the election. President-elect Donald Trump still not sounding convinced that Russia hacked the election. The president does not want to come to terms with the fact that the Russians hacked the election. Russia hacked the election. Russia hacked the election. Let's be clear, Russia hacked the election. Definitively, Russia hacked the election and Russia is doing it again now. Anger reaching a boiling point in the nation's capital after President Trump took the oath of office. Police in riot gear facing off against the protesters just six blocks from the inaugural parade. Unleashing pepper spray, concussion grenades, all to disperse the crowd. Oh, that was different. One side accepts election losses and one side doesn't. This asymmetry cannot continue. Wait, wait, and the on. people who are defending it cannot just look past it like, well, we won the election, so that's it. Well, like, cur wait, hold on. Currently, Bob Casey, Democratic senator in Pennsylvania, is doing exactly what you're saying, where he's looking for all these votes and trying to, and the Bucks County commissioners are saying, we need fake ones, we need to get all the ones that are unregistered. No, so, they're no, just no. counting them. What? <laughs> what? No, that's not actually true. We're just counting that's them. not actually true. And if you it dismiss is. that and you don't recognize the moat in your own eye, then that is a problem. So you're saying Bob Casey in this city, that's equivalent to Trump in 2020. No, I don't say they're equivalent. I say that you have to recognize that these ha things happen, for instance, in 2016 and 2000. No, they didn't. 
All right, we waste him. No offense. It is unreal. If you're familiar with this channel, then you know that I've done several videos where I have laid out the history of Democrat election denial. And they most certainly have denied the election results of every election they've lost going back to the year 2000. In 2001 and 2005, they tried to overturn the election results by decertifying Florida and Ohio. And I guess it kind of goes along with Bill Maher's revision of history here, but CNN actually deleted both of their articles talking about Democrats trying to overturn Florida and Ohio. Now there's virtually no record of it out there at all other than the Wayback Machine and my videos. All right, folks, what do you all think? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I do post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.